How's it going, everyone? Austin Honecker here. I just wanted to come on here for a while and give my review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from four nights ago, which was November 8th, 2022. I gotta say, it was awesome from start to finish. For the matches, match one, it was Zach Clayton versus Blake Lee. That was a squash match. But the ending to it, Zach Clayton went over with the Fisherman's Buster. Match two, it was Kayla Rossi versus Ashley Dambouse. That was a squash match. But the ending to it, Kayla Rossi went over with the Jackhammer Suplex. Match three, that was match two, by the way. Match three... It was the Guns, which are Colton and Austin Gunn versus BK Klein and Jarrett Diaz. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, the Guns went over because Colton Gunn pinned BK Klein with the Colt 45. Now after the match... W. Morrissey came into the ring with the guns, which are Colton and Austin Gunn, and W. Morrissey grabbed the, well, W. Morrissey executed the choke slam to B.K. Klein and laid him out, and then W. Morrissey got on the microphone and said, Big Bill, Top Guns, out. And then the firm, which are Colton Gunn, Austin Gunn, and W. Morrissey, left and went backstage and everything. Which that was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match four, it was Peter Avalon versus Brandon Cutler. That was a great match. But the ending to it, Peter Avalon went over with a roll-up. Match five, it was The Factory, which are... QT Marshall and Cole Carter versus the Blondes, which are Brian Pillman Jr. and Griff Garrison. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the factory went over because QT Marshall pinned Griff Garrison with a schoolboy. Match six, it was Anna J versus. Sio Nieves, that was a squash match, but the ending to it, Anna J went over with the Queen Slayer. Match seven, it was Kip Sabian versus Marcus Cross. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Kip Sabian went over with the Deathly Hollows. Match eight, it was Athena versus Diamante. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Athena went over with the Gourd Buster. Now, after the match, Athena attacked Diamante with a super kick, and then Athena went backstage, left the ring, and went backstage while Diamante was laid out and everything. Jump was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match nine, it was. Powerhouse Hobbs versus Rico Gonzalez. That was a squash match, but the ending to it, Powerhouse Hobbs went over with the Spine Buster. Match 10, it was the Dark Order, which are Evil Uno, John Silver, and Alex Reynolds versus Troy Hollywood, Fulton, and Adavalu. That, that was a great match, but the ending to it, the Dark Order went over because Alex Reynolds pinned Troy Hollywood with a roll-up. Match 11, it was Eddie Kingston and Ortiz versus Caleb Conley and A.R. Fox. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Eddie Kingston and Ortiz went over because Ortiz pinned Caleb Conley with the Fisherman's Buster. Now, after the match, 
as Eddie Kingston was in the ring with Ortiz, AR Fox was AR Fox was in the ring with Caleb Conley and Eddie Kingston executed the stretch plum to AR Fox and Ortiz got Eddie Kingston off AR Fox. Then Eddie Kingston went out of the ring and got a steel got a couple steel chairs and threw them into the ring and Eddie Kingston Eddie Ki Eddie Kingston was getting ready to go into the ring, but Ortiz stopped Eddie Kingston from doing so, and so Eddie Kingston and Ortiz went backstage and everything. Chup was cool. That was after the match, by the way. Match 12, it was Tony Storm and Hikaru Shida versus Emi Sakura and Mesa Ruga. That was a great match, but the ending to it, Tony Storm and Hikaru Shida went over because Hikaru Shida pinned Mei Saruga with the katana. And match 13, which was the main event, it was the Blackpool Combat Club, which are Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta versus the Wingmen, which are Ryan Nemeth and Cesar Bononi. That was a great match, but the ending to it, the Blackpool Combat Club went over cause Claudio Castagnoli made Ryan Nemeth tap out to the sharpshooter. That was match 13 and the main event, by the way. Now, there were no promos or segments throughout this episode of All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark. So, besides the matches, Taz and Excalibur done commentary throughout the whole show. They done awesome as usual. And William Regal done guest commentary along with Taz and Excalibur during the match between the Blackpool Combat Club versus the Wingmen. William Regal done great on guest commentary. And the referees for the event were Mike Posey, Rick Knox, Paul Turner, Bryce Rimsburg, Stephon Smith, and Aubrey Edwards. Okay. Rick Knox refereed the match between Zach Clayton versus Blake Lee. Paul Turner refereed the match between Kayla Rossi versus Ashley Dambouis. Aubrey Edwards refereed the match between The Guns versus BK Klein and Jarrett Diaz. Stephon Smith refereed the match between Peter Avalon versus Brandon Cutler. Paul Turner refereed the match between the Factory versus The Blondes. Mike Posey refereed the match between Anna J versus C.O. Nieves. Paul Turner refereed the match between Kip Sabian versus Marcus Cross. Rick Knox refereed the match between Athena versus Diamante. Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between Powerhouse Hobbs versus Rico Gonzalez. Stephon Smith refereed the match between The Dark Order versus Troy Hollywood, Fulton, and Adavalu. That was Stephon Smith, by the way. Rick Knox refereed the match between Eddie Kingston and Ortiz versus. A.R. Fox and Caleb Conley. Mike Posey refereed the match between Tony Storm and Hikaru Shida versus Emi Sakura and Mei Saruga. And Bryce Rimsburg refereed the match between the Blackpool Combat Club versus the Wingmen. All the referees done awesome as usual. Now anyway, I just wanted to come on here for a while and give my review for All Elite Wrestling's AEW Dark from four nights ago, which was 
November 8th, 2022. Like I said, it was awesome from start to finish. And with that being said, my name is Austin Honecker, and I will catch your fucking ass down the goddamn road. Peace out.